the longer in Ambikanu is in prison, the taller he becomes, and the shorter federal government becomes, says Kenneth Ukonku. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got to your ears this morning. As our headline for this morning says here, the longer in Ambikanu is in prison, the taller he becomes, and the shorter the federal government becomes, says Kenneth Ukonku. We have it in a recent interview with Arise Television from 123 renowned actor and lawyer Kenneth Koku made a complaining case for the release of Inamdi Kanu, leader of the indigenous people of Brafia, IPOB. Koku emphasized the potential benefits of releasing Kanu, framing it as a strategic move for peace and reconciliation in Nigerian southeast region. The federal government have a lot of places it can stand to release Inamdi Kanu and bring peace to the southeast, Koku stated. He highlighted the Elevating participation from Kanu, suggesting that he continued imprisonment, that his continued imprisonment elevates his stature while diminishing the government's credibility. He is now more likely a pot- political prisoner. I'll tell you something the longer Inam the Kanu is in prison, the taller he becomes and the shorter the federal government becomes. Ukunku urged the federal government to adopt a more intelligent approach by releasing Kanu, drawing parallels with how other individuals have been handled. They should take the intelligent way and release him like release him like they did to other people. And they should also release him and reconcile him as they are reconciling Southeast completely to the nation, he added. And that is all that was said concerning this headline today this morning, which says here, the longer in Amdekanu is in prison, the taller he becomes, and the shorter the federal government becomes, says Kenneth Ukunku. Hmm. This man is really making bars when it comes to speech. But don't forget, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, don't forget to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a like on this video to get more updates concerning this in the nearest future. Because Kenneth Ukunku recently says that the longer in Amdekanu is in prison, the taller he becomes, and the shorter the federal government becomes. Well, just a recent if interview that just happened recently with Arise Television from 123 renowned from 123, the renowned actor and lawyer Kenneth Ukunku, he made a com- complaining case for the release of Inam the Kanu, the leader of the IPOB. He made a complaining case. Yes, you heard me right. Ukunku emphasized the potential benefits of releasing Kanu. He emphasized that he emphasized all the benefits that will come from the federal government releasing Kanu. Framing it as a strategic move for peace and conciliation in Nigeria's southeast region. Yes, you all know that it will be a move for peace if Namdekanu is being released because you don't know how many people who are agitating and in the process losing their life just for the release of this man. Releasing Namdekanu, like not only him has said, but a lot of people have said, will bring peace to the southern eastern part of Nigeria. And, and the federal government and a lot of places. And if the federal government have a lot of places it can stand to release in Amdikanu and bring peace to the southeast. Yes. Yes. Like, like I also said, the, the federal government, they have, they have a lot of places that it, places it can stand to release in Amdikanu and bring peace to the southeast. Because we all know that in Amdikanu is not guilty concerning the charges that are alleged against him. Yes. He's not guilty concerning the charges that are alleged against him. It's, it's because this man says that in Amdikanu is now like, a political prisoner it's like it's not like a political prisoner because he's gaining more we like see he's gaining more attention the way he stay inside here he stay he stay, he stay inside detention and like he said i tell you the longer in the canoe is in prison the taller he becomes and the shorter the government becomes like the taller in the canoe will become not um uh, biology tall like politically tall and the shorter the federal government will be Explaining it, Ikoku says that the continued detention, the, the continued detention has elevated, <coughs> the continued detention has elevated in Ambikanu stage stature, like his status while diminishing the government's credibility. People don't even trust the uh, federal government anymore when it comes to um, justice anymore. But looking at my comment section, I have right here, William Smith says release in Ambikanu and end Nigeria now. No, Nigeria should not end, but release in Ambikanu and end the um, crisis in the southern eastern part of Nigeria. And Biola Adi- Adisa says, you just keep on overreacting him to make him stay long in detention. You are not one of his enemies. Yeah.
yes and um, this man is truly truly not one of his enemies but he's trying to just make the, the federal government see some sense concerning releasing in the country more more under the comment section as james adam says to me it was the yoruba with their tribalic tribalism and multi-religious life that is the problem of this country called nigeria really this man says that it is the yoruba with their tribalism and their multi-religious life that is the problem of this country nigeria and what does it mean like that like seriously that is another in, um, topic entirely to be said concerning this and ubani shimez says that it is not only few it is only few people we understand in amdekano is being no worldwide there is no country you will go and call him the kind of Brafia and they say they don't know him. He is not the first person to ask for freedom and Brafia was an existing country before Alamaga nation. If the Aosa didn't allow the Fulanis to destroy Nigeria, all this would not come out. Nigeria should have been in position by now to help some European countries and African as large. Almost 80% of Nigerians want to travel out. This is some sense, like this is some wisdom comment that I have here. Like seriously, I really love what this man says. Like it's it's very understandable. It is very understandable. It is very understandable. As Alisa Undubisi says, I just like this man. God bless you. Like seriously, me too. I like what this man says. Like the, the comments made pure sense. Pure sense. He highlights the problems that the the country is facing right now. Let me let me rephrase that. He says that there's no place in the world that you go, you will not, you will not mention him and the kind of name that they will say they don't know him. They know him. He is known across every country. He says that if not of the Aosa that allow Fulani to destroy Nigeria, Nigeria is supposed to be a very um, economic balanced country by now. We should be helping other European countries and all other African countries to build up their own economy. Seriously. Yes, but what do you guys think concerning this? Yes, what do you guys think? But Philip Unana says that the Kenneth Okoko always think everything is by acting films in Nollywood. This was how he deceived Obi to spend his money during his court case against Tinibu and later ran away. After Obi's failure at the court, I think it is better to leave Inam the Kanu in the prison so that he can so that he can be taller and better than the federal government. Nice words. Oh, what do you guys think? Let me see your comment below in the comment section and don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button here's the big red one and the notification bell. So that any time of any new video concerning this, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you all for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.